injury or death. Um, we here at Making Murders just want to, I guess, a Binge Pipe doesn't know how to stop presenting You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe. Buzzword. Buzzword. Content. Buzzword. I'm Cookie Masterson, and if you're not here to make friends, you've already failed, friend. Eight players. Well, that never gets old for me. So, let's make this happen. Time for question one. First question. Geologists date rocks. How much older are the oldest rocks in the ocean than Dwayne the Rock Johnson? 65 million years minus however old Dwayne is. 260 million years minus however old Dwayne is. 840 million years minus however... Let's see who got it. Actually, I can smell what you were cooking, but it's wrong. <coughs> the oldest oceanic crust is about a quarter of a billion years old. I think Dwayne The Rock Johnson dates back to like the 1970s, but it's so hard to tell. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's time for Name Zara Numbers Game. What do you get when you add Octavia Spencer to Zachary Quinto, then multiply by Demi Lovato? 9, 6.5, 20, or 13.5? Okay, let's take a look. Nine. Octavia is derived from eight and Quinto comes from five. So eight plus five is 13. Then multiply by Demi, which means half. 13 times half is 6.5. This also adds up to a buddy comedy that I would pay to see. Why do we do it with three? Why not try? Gotta avoid them all and prepare for trouble because it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven alarming sounding descriptions. And for each, I want you to tell me if I'm talking about a Pokemon or a real animal you can find in Australia today. Answer quick, you'll only have a few seconds to choose between a Pokemon or an Australian animal. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Ready? Good. A tiny dragon covered in thorns. A bird that channels electricity. octopus covered in rings. Gliding rodent with thumbs. Six foot tall dog you can ride. with poisonous feet. A cat that mimics human speech. Most of you earned my respect. Moving right along. Next, furry, adorable justice. Picture it. Steve from Blue's Clues is wrongly charged with murder, and Blue must mount a desperate defense for the trial. What kind of clues is Blue looking for? Exculpatory evidence, inadmissible evidence, inculpatory evidence, or anecdotal evidence? I love this part. That's evidence that directly disproves someone committed a crime. 
If anyone's going to jail, it's that mailbox. I mean, talk about a red flag. Behold, Sugar Rush the stage. If each of the Dixie Chicks ate 60 Pixie Sticks, how many Pixie Sticks did the Dixie Chicks eat? 120 Pixie Sticks, 180 Pixie Sticks, 240 Pixie Sticks, or 400 Pixie Sticks? So who got it? There are three people in the Dixie Chicks, and three times 60 is 180. That's too much sugar for me, but ladies, you do whatever it takes to write that beautiful music. <laughs> Round one is history. Hey, voice, what data have you captured? Currently, these players have the same number of points. <laughs> Weird. Player six, on the other hand, you could use a little help, and there's no shame in that. Sounds like it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Using the screw makes it harder for all the other players to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Yeah, okay, they get it. The rest of you better answer fast if you don't want to be screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled, in case you care about things like that. We didn't approve this point structure, but okay. Six trombones is not a parade. This one's called Sisters Act. If the Haim sisters and the Bronte sisters went on vacation together, at what kind of Airbnb would they stay? A four bedroom lake house? A six bedroom? Look sharp. Player six just let loose a screw. Your answers are on the go. Let's see how that shook out. No, but wouldn't that be fun? There are three members of the all-sister band Haim and three Bronte sisters for a total of six famous sisters. I'm surprised they didn't run through Jane Eyre b, b Like the book Jane Eyre, it's a clever play on words. Nice screw job, player six. This is your cash now. Next up, I'd like to quote the famous book, Big Famous Book of Quotes. Although it's never been confirmed, what most likely were Oscar Wilde's famous last words? Help, I'm drowning. Ow, 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 I was shot. This knife hurts so bad. Or cough, cough, my meningitis is killing me. Okay, what'd you pick? Oscar Wilde passed away in 1897 due to meningitis. And you know, I can picture him saying that. He was such a witty guy. Hey, question. Binge Pipe now offers content surveys. Would you like a question about mom or a question about dad? Contribute your percentage of the choice now. choices have been made. I have no opinion about your selection. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. This one's known as a question about mom. Whose theme song describes them as a bad mother? Murphy Brown, Ally McBeal, Roseanne, or Shaft? Hope you like what you picked. Oh, ouch. A lyric in the theme to this film describes this cat shaft as a bad mother. If you found this question misleading, I'm sorry, I was just talking about shaft. I call this one Type equals squiggly bracket movie comma classic squiggly bracket. Except all cookies don't clear your cash. It's time for data mining. 
So BingePipe needs help sorting through user data. Uh, why are you collecting all this information again? It's just a hobby. Here are the searches we have. Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. Whose search history have we acquired? Ben Stiller, Ben Stein, Ben Savage, or Benjamin Brett? And how do we do? Ben Stein played the teacher continuously calling the titular character's name for roll call in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Do you want to know how many times you've searched for your own name, Cookie? No, the only person who can't handle my personal information is me. Take a good look at... Check off another one from the Oscar pool. My local community theater company is digging deep to stay relevant and get butts in seats. What better way to do that than mash up some hot recent films and some old Russian plays? Which of the following would not be a 2018 Oscar-nominated film reimagined for the stage by Russian playwright Anton Chekhov? Ivanya, Three Sisters Outside Ebbing, Missouri, Lady Seagull, or Long Day's Journey Into the Darkest Hour? What'd you guys pick? And the wrong answer goes to... <laughs> Long Day's Journey Into Night was written by American playwright Eugene O'Neill and not Anton Chekhov. And if a movie is long and dark, you know it's an Oscar contender. Ow. It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Animal parts. Animals are made up of lots of parts. I hope you know what they are. Playrate takes it! I gotta hand it to you, Playrate. I'm glad the underdog won. You did know you were the underdog, right? You don't know Jack! Hey, 
Hey guys, what's up? So if you saw my last vid, then you know I took a photo of myself every day for a year. Thanks for all the positive feedback. It was a really fun project, and I learned something about myself while doing it. It turns out I'm a narcissist.